Hey everybody, my hearing glasses have finally arrived here in the studio. If you've been following our channel, you know that we've been watching closely the development of the Nuance Audio Glasses, which are a combo between a pair of hearing aids and a pair of glasses. And we finally have our hands on a working pair here in the studio. I'm able to put them through the paces and better understand exactly how the product works. In this video, I'm gonna dig into everything I know so far, what I'm excited about, some of the drawbacks to this design, and what you can expect in the months ahead as Nuance Audio rolls out officially into the market. If we've not yet met, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. Soundly is one of the leading destinations for hearing health research and shopping in the United States. I'm also a hearing aid wearer and I've spent time in over 50 different pairs of hearing aids over the last year to try all of the features and better understand where the market is headed, where technology is at, and what the best options are for the folks who spend time with us at soundly.com. If you like what you see in this video, I'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it helps us reach more people. With that, let's dig into the world of Nuance Audio and hearing glasses. Okay, so before we dig into the specs and performance of these Nuance Audio glasses, let me just give you a little bit of background on where all of this came from. Now, the idea of hearing aids and glasses put together is not a new idea. In fact, 50 years ago, manufacturers tried to put hearing aids and glasses together by creating a little wire that went from the arm of the glasses down into the ear canal. I'll put some pictures up on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But for a number of reasons, those designs just never took off. A couple of years ago though, the eyewear maker, Essler Luxottica, purchased a company called Nuance Audio, and their idea was pretty simple. They wanted to bring back this concept of hearing aids and glasses in one, but they wanted to do it a little bit differently. Instead of putting a wire from the glasses down into your ear, they simply created an open speaker. It sits right here, and it just plays directional sound right into your ear canal. I have directional microphones that are focused on where I'm looking, and then feeding that sound back into my ear canals, doing it in real time in a way that no one else can hear. So I'm basically getting an audio boost while putting nothing inside of my ear canals. As a hearing aid wearer, this concept is very appealing because if you've worn hearing aids, you know it takes some adjustment to get used to having something in your ear. Now there are great hearing aids on the market. Some are very advanced and able to do a lot with background noise, managing voices. But for many folks, the idea of putting something in your ear canals for many hours a day is something that holds them back from ultimately treating their hearing loss and better engaging in social conversations and at work and in their life in general. And that's why I'm so excited about this launch. All right, so the way we're going to structure this video is we're we're gonna start with some of the basics. I'll show you the design, some of the basic features that you need to understand. Then I'm gonna take you through the setup process and show you the smartphone app that controls these hearing glasses. And finally, we'll talk about sound quality, some of the things I'm immediately noticing as I'm getting used to wearing these glasses throughout my day-to-day -day life, and some tips that I have for how to get the most out of your glasses if you do end up deciding to purchase a pair. Okay, so let's start with the basics. As I mentioned, there's a speaker that plays sound directly down into your ear canal. So that's how you're getting amplification. The microphones are here on the front of the glasses. So they're tracking with your head movements, which is a natural way to understand what you actually want to focus on. When I put on the glasses, I can immediately tell that it's focusing in my direct line of sight. Now, when we get into the app, you'll see that there's an all around setting and a focus setting. I actually like the all around setting in a lot of environments, but in a loud environment, you wanna get that directional focus and you turn that on in the app and that's using the microphones on the front of these glasses. Now the glasses themselves are rechargeable. They have a battery inside. You simply close the glasses and you place them on this recharge case, which is of course plugged into the wall and that charges up your devices. You'll get about eight hours of battery life per charge, depending on the amount of background noise that you're in. The reason that the background noise matters is that the processors inside of these devices are working harder when you're in a louder environment and that ultimately drains the battery just a little bit faster. But in general, you can expect about eight hours of power through these glasses. So already this is one major difference between what you'd find in a typical pair of hearing aids, which would offer you maybe 20 or 30 hours hours of power, which is enough to get you through a whole day. With these hearing glasses, you're either going to wear them situationally, want to charge them in the middle of the day, 
or maybe just use the button on board to turn off the glasses if you're not using them and turn them back on when you actually need them. These are different strategies you can use to manage the battery, but the battery itself will not last for the 20 to 30 hours that you might expect with a hearing aid. Now, some of the core technology inside of the Nuance Audio glasses likely comes from Essler Luxottica's previous work with their Ray-Ban brand. Now, one important thing to note with the Nuance Audio glasses is that they do not stream Bluetooth. They connect to your phone using Bluetooth, and that's how you program and change the sound but they will not actually stream audio into your ears. That's different than some other smart glasses on the market like Ray-Ban Stories, which are a collaboration between Meta and Ray-Ban, also owned by Essler Luxottica. That product actually streams music into your ears but Nuance Audio does not. And most of the reason for this is that they're trying to preserve battery power so you actually can get amplified sound from the world around you for nearly a full day of use. Along with each pair of devices, you get a nice carry case. You can just drop your glasses into the carry case. It isn't a charger, but it will store and protect your glasses if you're on the go. Interestingly, Nuance Audio also sells a remote control separately. That can do a lot of the same things that the smartphone app will do, which we'll talk about in just a moment. When it comes to sizes, styles, and colors, there are two colors available, black, and a burgundy. There are two frame styles available. So square, which is the one I'm wearing right now, and then one called Panthos, which has more of a rounded frame and is ultimately a little bit smaller overall. Now, this is one thing I asked the Nuance Audio team a lot about. Do they think they can bring the size of these glasses down and put them into more styles? And the short answer is maybe not in the short term. The reason is you have to pack a lot of technology inside of these frames. You have sound processing, you have a battery, you have a speaker, and it all needs to fit inside of what really looks like a normal pair of glasses. So while there may be more styles and colors that come out in the future, you should expect a fairly robust frame structure for the next couple of generations, at least when it comes to Nuance Audio glasses. So one important question that you may be asking at this point is, you're talking a lot about the hearing components of these glasses, but what about the lenses themselves? This is an area where Nuance Audio obviously has a clear advantage in the market, and that's because they're owned by Essler Luxottica, which makes more prescriptive eyewear than anyone else in the world. So the short answer is you can get prescription lenses inside of your hearing glasses, your Nuance Audio glasses, or you can get clear lenses or transition lenses. I'm using clear lenses right now, but I actually get excited about something like a transition lens that might protect my eyes out in the sun and also give me a boost to hear better when I'm interacting with other folks. Okay, so you may be wondering, well, where do I purchase Nuance Audio glasses if I am interested? At the time of this recording, our recommendation is to go over to nuanceaudio.com. You'll be able to see a list of locations where these glasses are supported. We're expecting the retail price to be around $1,100 or $1,200 before you add your prescriptive lenses. Now for Soundly followers, it's worth noting that we are not yet selling Nuance Audio glasses with our typical audiology support on soundly.com. We may in the future, but at this point, head over to Nuance Audio and that's where you're going to get your location information and all the information that you need about actually purchasing a pair of these glasses. All right, so now that you understand some of the basics, let's dig into the app. I'll show you how to set these devices up. And then after we come back from the app demonstration, I'm gonna to talk to you about sound quality and what I've noticed so far in wearing these hearing glasses. Okay, let's take a look at the Nuance Audio app. Once you open up the app, you're going to see this screen in most cases. You have a few different options. We'll start at the top where you can adjust the level of background noise that you're hearing. So if you wanna hear a lot of ambient sound, you can go to heightened. This is great for music listening or if you just wanna hear more ambient sound, like the sound of fans or, or things in your room. I've found I'm spending most time in standard but you can also go to lowered background noise, which controls the ambient sound even more and makes it a bit more comfortable in a really loud environment. Once you move down to the presets, you have four options for the sound quality that you're going to hear. And you basically can think of this as the customization stage where you're matching to your own hearing loss. I've found that I like A, it gives me a rounder and clearer sound for my cookie bite hearing loss. But in most cases, people are going to enjoy B, C, or D. All of these target different kinds of high frequency hearing loss, which is the most common type. You have your volume slider here, which you can also control on the armband of the glasses themselves. And then you have your audio mode, which is frontal or all around. I've manually been putting it into all around so I can hear more beside me and behind me. Frontal means I hear a little bit less of my own voice. So if you don't like hearing your own voice, you can turn it into frontal and that helps. A couple other interesting features, you can track your battery throughout the day. And then there's a noise tracking feature, which allows you to scan the room that you're in and simply just know what the level of background noise is. This is helpful, especially if you're trying to manage your hearing health in a loud environment. If you click the little chat tab, 
you're going to see FAQ, troubleshooting, and a contact option. And then if you click over here to the menu option, you can see your own account some of your settings, you can find a local store. Overall, it's a pretty simple app, but fairly intuitive and easy to use. I've also found that it's pretty stable as I've been using it, so not a lot of glitches, which I always appreciate. So there are some clear design advantages to a product like Nuance Audio. A lot of people are really excited about this product, but one of the big questions that many folks have asked me is, Will the sound quality be good? Will it be enough? Will it ultimately help me interact in the environments that I care about? Hear people that I need to hear at doctor's appointments or in social settings. So I've spent some time wearing the Nuance Audio glasses and my overall thoughts are it's actually pretty good. What I notice in general is that it adds some crispness to overall speech. And often if you have mild or moderate hearing loss, that crispness is really what you're lacking. You're missing the S's and the T's, the consonants, and the things that give speech clarity. So I've noticed that these glasses do a great job of offering that clarity. I wore them to a dinner with a lot of background noise, and I took my hearing aids out, and I didn't really find that I was struggling too much. That was a really encouraging sign. What I find is that when I'm wearing these glasses in public, I'm pretty much maxing out the volume most of the time. So it's very possible that a certain cohort of folks who are researching hearing aids will need to go with an in-ear device simply to get that volume and clarity that they need. But for anyone who's in the mild to moderate category, I am finding a lot more crispness and clarity, and generally the sound feels and sounds pretty good. One of the clear advantages when you're thinking about sound quality is that your ears stay open. So you continue to hear natural sound sounds from people around you, the ambient sounds from around you, and all of that can give you a more natural feel and cut down on the adjustment that is usually necessary for folks who are just starting out with hearing aids. Now inside the app, as you saw, there is a forward focus mode and an all around mode. I'm finding in most cases that I like the all around mode. It gives me more spatial awareness and I only throw it into forward focus when I'm in a tough background noise environment or I really know I want to focus right in front of me. On the background noise management side of the app, I'm finding that I like to keep it in the standard mode. When I'm listening to music though, I move it into heightened because that gives me a more true sound to the music I'm actually listening to. I've only gone into the low background noise setting in the loudest environments where I'm feeling like there's too much artifact or too much sound in my environment. So with all of this in mind, what are my overall thoughts on the Nuance audio glasses? How do I think they stack up in the hearing health market. Now, my first and most significant reaction is that I'm thrilled to have a new entrant into the category, especially one that has such an innovative design and form factor. For anyone who hasn't wanted to put something in their ears, this is a really good option to get them re-engaged in conversations, situations of their life. So I'm very excited for what this means for those with hearing loss. With that said, there are a couple of clear drawbacks. The first is the battery life. With only eight hours of battery, most people will be managing a midday charge or turning off the hearing glasses and turning them back on, maybe taking a break and putting them back on when they need them. For many folks, that's just fine, but it's something you'll need to think about as most of our customers end up wearing hearing aids for 12 to 15 hours a day. Another drawback is that these glasses are definitely not made for those who have severe or profound hearing loss. I even find that at some frequencies, a moderate hearing loss may be a little bit out of reach of the top volume that you can get through these hearing glasses. And finally, the obvious point. In order to get benefit from these hearing glasses, you need to wear them. And in some ways, these are the ultimate invisible hearing aids. No one will know that you're wearing hearing aids. But on another front, they are more present than a typical receiver and canal hearing aid that simply tucks into your ear. Now, for many folks who wear glasses already, this trade-off will not be a big deal. But as you're considering whether glasses or typical hearing aids are the right way to treat your hearing loss, you'll want to think about this as a part of the overall picture. On the whole, we expect that this first generation of Nuance Audio glasses will get a lot of folks really excited about a new way to treat their hearing loss. We're expecting a lot of people will try this product and ultimately, based on my experience, I think a lot of people will be really successful with this product. I'm also excited to see where all of this goes. Obviously, Nuance Audio is kicking this off, but I imagine future generations of their product are going to become even better and perhaps even other competitors will join the market to bring this form factor of audio augmentation into our everyday lives. Ultimately, it's another tool for folks to hear their life better. And that's what we're always after at Soundly.com and here on this channel. I hope you found this video helpful. If you need personalized advice, you can head over to Soundly.com and text call or email our team. We're happy to talk with you, review your hearing test, make some recommendations on whether Nuance Audio or another product might be the right fit. We appreciate your time today and good luck with your research.